If the very rich try to maintain their power and control over American society by resort to naked force, Americans would not acquiesce in passive resignation and tolerate it. So the very rich have to disguise their power and control by hiding behind numerous front organizations, the Democratic and Republican parties being the most prominent. The existence of two parties preserves the illusion of choice so that whenever populist agitation begins to ferment, as it inevitably will when 80% of the population owns no more than 8% of the nation's investment assets, the American people, as one shrewd historian has observed, can throw the rascals out at any election without leading to any profound or extensive shifts in policy that might threaten the rule and government bestowed privileges of the very rich. As further explained by the foremost libertarian scholar during the 20th century, maintaining two parties means that the public, growing weary of the evils of democratic rule, can turn to out-of-power Republicans. And then, when they, weary of the Republican alternative, they can turn once again to the eager Democrats waiting in the wings. And so, the ruling elites maintain a shell game, while the American public constitute the suckers, or the marks, for the ruling con artists. 